Hello Pisces, my name is Kate Mariah. I'm a Master Empath Intuitive Healer, and I'm here to bring you your reading for the month of July. Oh, Pisces, before we begin, I just want to sincerely thank you for being here and for all of your likes and your shares and your subscribes. Thank you so much for everything that you're doing to help me grow my sweet channel. I am so very thankful for you. And all of the the content that you've been sending out, if you have a friend or a cousin or a mom or an aunt or an uncle or a brother or boyfriend, girlfriend, whatever, that really digs tarot readings or card pulls or just needs some cosmic love, I thank you so much for sharing my channel with them. I appreciate you so much. Well, Pisces, let's dig into what's going on for you within your energy this month. Um, whew. I just heard I'll get to it, I'll get to it. So there may be something that has maybe been in the back of your mind or a dream that you've had that you've had to put off or something that you've had to postpone for whatever reason. I feel like you're finally able to get to it now. Like there, there's an energy that's coming in that's, <laughs> I'm laughing because I'm actually hearing no excuses. Like, like there's, uh, your path is clearing so that you're able to tend to this thing that maybe you've been throwing on the back burner for a while. And it's almost like, I'm hearing, okay, divine assignment. This really does feel like it has to do with, with your destiny, with your soul calling, um, with your purpose, right? Just just the sense of purpose. <sighs> yeah, I'm also hearing how you show up in the world. Like, this is something that it's a part of your soul song. And I think that life has just gotten really busy and really in the way um, and maybe even distracting that it kind of maybe brought you into your head a little bit more than, than you prefer, a little bit more than you like, and has thrown you into an energy of, I'm hearing the word flurry. So it's almost like, you know, there's just been so much going on that you haven't had an opportunity to get to this. And now finally, it's like the seas are parting and the path is clearing. And so you may not have the same level of like distraction <laughs> I tell you what this ancestors card um, ancestors are showing up this month they are showing up this month this has I think it's come out in every single reading it's definitely come out in every single reading today that I've been recording today um but the ancestors are, are showing up this is this is like Honestly, I feel like all of that clutter and all of that noise and all of that flurry energy, right? All that distraction that I feel that you've been dealing with and sorting through and just, whew, just doing your best, right? Just doing your best. That feels like it, it was a direct representation of an energy that uh, I'm hearing haunts, haunted your bloodline. So this is very, very, very much pointing to healing ancestral trauma family curses you know the the family hex whatever whatever it is this is this is you moving through challenges that have literally plagued your ancestors for eons and you are love this yeah you are in a place now where you can take this this i want to say newfound wisdom this wisdom that has been gathered and cultivated from your experience of having to sort through all of the busyness and all of the chaos and all of the indecisiveness and the option overload and all the possibilities that like never really turn out like now is a time that you are granted this space because baby doll it is time to dream it's time to dream and it's time to dream big and what's interesting here is that i feel like this oh man this feels so good this is giving me the impression of like an artist in their studio putting up a sign saying do not disturb and people actually listen <laughs> and people actually do not disturb. You are being given this, this, this is different. This is different than like, you know, sometimes we can have those spiritual pauses where it's like we don't feel clear. We don't really know what's going on or we don't know what to do. We don't necessarily feel pulled in a certain direction. We feel kind of confused, maybe overwhelmed. And there's like a stagnant energy where things feel stale, things feel like they're not going anywhere, things feel like it's just stuck and we're frustrated. This feels like a gift. This feels like after dealing with that kind of an energy or that kind of overwhelm or that kind of, you know, like randomness that has been, you know, pulling at your energy and, and nipping at your heels, that is now silenced. It's, it's like 
there's a I'm hearing grand grand opening um, this could be like a rising up of of <laughs> of you honestly like this is you bursting onto the scene this is you envisioning where are you going what are you doing this is you fine-tuning your manifestations this is you storyboarding how you want to <clears throat> continue along down your path because I feel like you have greater goals that you have been aiming for and now is the time interesting yeah now is the time to rise up out of it see this is so interesting so Pisces you got instinct with veiled and emergence this is so, this is literally echoing what I'm feeling for you is that there's just been this like option overload, you know, like analysis paralysis. Um, just there's, it's like, there's so many possibilities. It's a feeling of how do I even put this? It's almost like your persona and your identity has been under construction and you have been, that's beautiful. You have been it's like, it's like you're a sculptor of your own persona, of your own identity. And what is that, um, that quote, was it Da Vinci where they asked him like, how, how did he create David? And he was like, it's simple. I just removed the parts that weren't David. And that's, oh, it just gives me chills. Like that's, that's what your vibe is giving me right now, Pisces, is that you have been yeah, I'm hearing required. Like it has been required of you that you have been in a decisive and discerning energy for you to be very, very clear on what doesn't work for you, what doesn't resonate with you. And I feel like this has been a very long standing, ongoing, even repetitive and redundant process for you that you've been in. But I feel like because you are now at a place where you're very clear, I just feel like this finely chiseled instinct is coming forth. Like your intuition is literally telling you what to do like how how to move forward because you're not necessarily given a game plan and you don't have the full you don't have a full guarantee on the box you know what I'm saying? honestly you're not even working within a box right now this is this is all yeah this emergence energy it's like i'm hearing grand opening grand rising like you bursting onto the scene um this is you stepping out now this is you stepping out you may have been i'm hearing buried by responsibility so this could have been just a lot of like half twos on your day to day list and not a whole lot of want twos. And I feel like this is you shifting into a place where you feel the space within your life, you feel the space within your bandwidth, you feel the space within your energy and your and your resources, that it's getting you to a place where you are actually able to, like, I just keep feeling this energy of like you, you opening up and like coming forth. Like it's very, um, it's a debutante kind of an energy of like, you know, coming down the staircase and like, you know, like making your, making your reveal, like a, like a big reveal. What else is going on for Pisces this month? <laughs> Pisces, this is, this is good, good. This is good, good. I love it. You're not messing around, Pisces. You are not messing around. I feel like you've been putting up with so much distraction, so much noise, so much like side work, I want to say. Like there's been a lot of side work. It just feels like it's been very extraneous. You're not, you're not walking around anymore. We've got vigilance, we've got activation, we've got fire. You're following your destined path, Pisces. Like there's no talking you out of it. <laughs> there's no talking you out of it. And you're like, oh, what's, what's that? It doesn't exist yet? Uh, that's okay, I'm going to build it. <laughs> You, you, seriously, like you, you cannot be talked out of your destiny. That's what I'm seeing here. You cannot be talked out of your destiny. And it's interesting too, because I feel they're showing me, it's like you've, you've had to move the goalposts, so to speak. Like you, I feel like at one point in time, you may have had like a different version of the same dream. And you've had to, based on your life experiences, based on the wisdom that you have gathered, and based on the fact that like you're now no longer operating in this like traumatized, I just want to call it like a haunted energy. Like you're no longer haunted by this darkness, like the darkness, it has dissipated, it has lifted. You are now, I'm hearing free and clear. You are now free and clear to move forward with said passion right like this activation energy it's it's like just 
give it a little bit of oxygen to the fire. It's, it's literally like life is being breathed into this fire in both of these cards. And this is what I'm seeing for you, Pisces, is like whatever you've had on the back burner, it, you are fully cooking on the, on, it's like on a freaking bonfire. Like you, you got a full pig roast going on. <laughs> going on this month you've got a full pig roast going on this month i'm going to move forward to these guys so let's just take a look at what is an overarching theme of energy for pisces this month what is an overarching theme of energy for pisces you're just you're just not operating in fear i feel like you've you kind of pushed the fear aside is what i'm hearing um you've, you've spent enough Nights trembling is what I'm feeling. Um, honestly, I feel like maybe fear has held you back for some time. And you, yeah, I'm hearing that's enough now. It's enough of that now. It's enough of that. Yeah. <laughs> I love this. We got peace and introspection. Pisces, what was I just saying? Like, you're pushing the fear aside. You're not, you're not fearful anymore. Like, you know that you're safe. You know that you're good. You know that you're operating in the foundation of love. And I feel that this is almost like you're no longer taking cues from anyone or anything outside of yourself. Like, it's like, okay, I see that. I observe that. I'll make a note of that. However, you are still like laser focused. Should I even want to say it's, it's, it's not just laser focused. It's like committed. Like you're committed to your own truth, to your own inner compass. It's funny because <laughs> so... <clears throat> have you ever seen like people crossing the street but they're on their phone and you're like this is not the time to have your nose like deep into your phone screen like pay attention you're crossing a road right now my friend that's kind of the image that I'm getting for you Pisces is that like you are so laser focused on your own inner compass that like no matter what anyone else throws at you this month which I, I honestly I don't even feel like if anyone's even trying to throw anything at you your ancestors are like karate chopping that shit and then it's just like nothing is getting through like you you are so protected like i said like the seas are parting for you like there's this this is a divine orchestration that's happening in order to give you the space and the grace that you need in order to be in this creation type energy but i feel like this is actually a really good thing it's i'm also hearing it's what's required of you right now is to really have your nose like pressed up against the glass of your own inner compass of like what feels good what doesn't what feels like your truth what doesn't what is something that you align with what isn't so you you are you're very much in tune with your inner sense of stability and your inner truth, your your overall integrity is very, very clear. Very, very clear this month. It's, it's like an untouchable feeling. Like, this feeling of like, <laughs> it's okay. I'm hearing like, oh, you think you're so tough. You have no clue what I've been through. You can't touch me. Like, I, I just feel like you have develop this wisdom and this strength about yourself that you just cannot be thrown off kilter as easily as maybe you once were um but no longer like this is just like a new and improved this is like pisces 2.0 you know what i mean this is just a new and improved version of you and i feel like you're creating in a whole new way and even though you might be working on like a project or a dream or an idea that you have attempted to you know work with before maybe you even tried to get something off the ground before Okay, there's just, I'm very clearly hearing like spirit supports you now. Like spirit, not to say that you weren't supported before, but it's almost like you had that ancestral mess, right? You had to deal with, and yeah, look at this. I love it. So I'm asking, what do you not see? You're moving forward, Pisces. You're moving on. You might not even realize it because it's almost this feeling of like, it's it's kind of a quiet start. <laughs> you know, it's, it's a quiet, uh, things feel kind of peaceful. Things feel kind of calm. Things don't feel dramatic or explosive or over the top. And your guides and your ancestors are like, yeah, you're welcome. Like now get to work, you know? <laughs> so you're moving forward, Pisces. You're moving forward. If you have, you know, a day here and there where you kind of get, you know, sucked back into that past energy just know like just give yourself time you're still processing you're still releasing i would say past you know disappointments um maybe even necessary failures uh, just <laughs> what is it, like every failure is an opportunity to learn uh fail fail what is it failure way to success <laughs> 
test, fail, learn, grow, repeat. Okay, I'll, I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. You get it though. You get it. I just, I feel like there's just, I just feel a lot of strength within your energy, Pisces. And it's well-deserved. You know what I mean? Like it's well-deserved. I just, I feel like you've, you've just been pushed around a lot and you've just developed this tenacity within your spirit that it's it's going to be paying off and serving you very well and it and it starts right now it starts right now it's for pisces what is the next thing to manifest or materialize for our precious pisces look at this I'm telling you, Pisces, like green light for dream time, imagination. You're going to be hit with inspiration, ideas. You're going to be influenced. You're going to be motivated. You're going to be ignited, activated, sparked. The key is going to turn. There's the ignition. Your motor and air engine is going to start roaring. I mean, everything about this just feels like Give yourself this time, give yourself this grace and space to create, to be in that, that artist's mindset. Like, what are you building for yourself? What are you creating? What are you bringing to life? What are you bringing forth? What do you want to emerge from the vapor, right? Like, what do you want to bring into this reality? You're getting it. Oh, Pisces, beautiful, beautiful. And all of this energy that you've been like struggling with and fighting through of just like dealing with Again, it's just, it's, it's old, it's ancient, your, your ancestors were dealing with it, it's trauma, it's drama, it's dark, it's dense, and it's gone. And you're letting it go. You just, you already have. I just, I, I'm, I'm hearing like, because you're letting it go, this is why harmony is being restored. You also, again, the haunting energy, like this vibe of being haunted, you're rising above that, so you're able to release it. It's almost like, that energy was in a certain level of frequency and you're at a higher frequency this month. You're at a higher frequency now. And so it literally can't even reach you. And this is really enabling you to further harmonize, harmonize yourself within your life and your daily interactions, as well as your own vibration and, and unify that divine and masculine balance within you, right? Just to stay balanced. Cause that's Pisces, that's your happy place when you can have both of those energies, you know, working together and adapting and melding and, and shifting and just like generating your truth into into physical form. So you are <laughs> you're on fire, Pisces. You're on fire this month. This is a month that is going to be fueled by passion. You're no longer fueled by fear. And again, Pisces, this is a general reading. So if you want me to look at your own personal situation, please visit my website, katemariah.com. You can click on shop and check out my readings available there. But Pisces, you, this is just the beginning. This is you getting your art supplies out. This is you, you know, getting, getting all the, you know, the sumptuous like fabrics and things that maybe inspire you or connecting with people that, you know, give you those ideas or say the right buzzwords that like get you thinking and your thoughts just kind of catapult into this whole other expansive journey. I feel like you've got so much creative goodness that is just, it's going to just compound and further and further as you move forward. But Pisces with that, I'm going to leave it here for now. And I am just, I'm rooting for you, Pisces. If you want to claim this reading, if this has resonated with you, please hit that like button. Sound off in the comments below. Let me know, what are you working on? What are you creating? What are you dreaming up? We really love celebrating with you here on this channel. So please feel free to share or just, you know, say, hey, Kate, say what's up. You know, just let me know you're here. I love hearing from you. <laughs> with that, Pisces, I am sending you so much love and I will see you next time. Bye.